Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be giving you an overview of the websites that I've made in the last couple of weeks using Next.js, Bolt and more recently Cursor. Now I've got some really interesting conclusions to draw from this video, so let's get into it. The first website that I made was findatradespersonisland.com and if we actually go on Ahrefs and just search for findatradespersonisland.com now this was released on the 19th of October, so it's now the 4th of November. It's about 15, 16 days ago. I don't know about you, but I've never seen almost 600 keywords on Ahrefs in such a small amount of time before. So this is very, very exciting to me and it should be very, very exciting to other people as well, at least I hope. Um, and we're actually getting some traffic as well. You can see this is real traffic. Um, you can see if I go on countries, a lot of the traffic is from Ireland. None, not all of my subscribers are from Ireland, and therefore this is real traffic and not just people going to uh, this website because of the videos that I've made about it. So find a tradesperson Ireland. This is or was a unique website in the sense that it uses server-side rendering and dynamic generation of pages. Okay, so these two concepts here, I'm going to be talking about a lot in the coming weeks. Now, I do not profess to be an expert on any of these topics, okay? But server-side rendering and dynamic generation of pages, what that actually means from my understanding of these things, my very limited understanding of these things, at least dynamic generation of pages, what this means is if I go and find a tradesperson island and I go on plumber, now these are all static pages. This is a static page. This is generated at the time of building the website, okay? This is also a static page, okay, because it doesn't change. The, the, these are always the counties of Ireland, and these, this is always an HVAC technician, although I'll go, I'll go on Carpenter because it's more likely to exist. This is also a static page, okay, because this is Carpenters in the region of Clare, okay. When I click, let's go for Scarif, <laughs> when I click Scarif, this is going to dynamically generate this page, okay? So I'm gonna click it. This page here is what is known as dynamically generated. What that means is this page is only generated when someone clicks on it. Until someone clicks on it, the page doesn't exist, okay? But a lot of them are on Google, okay? Because what Google does is it crawls this page as if it were a user, it renders the content and then it ranks it on Google according to the content that will be on the page when someone clicks on it, okay? So I want you to bear that in mind as we go through this process. This is the only website currently, there are two now because I made findabusinessuk.com yesterday, but there are only two dynamically generated websites on this list. All of the other ones are statically generated websites, okay? So just remember that. So the second one that I made was getmarriedinitaly.com. This is a static website where all of the content is again built when we build the website. I am not happy with how this is going. I don't think this has been a great success or anything like that. I'm not trying to claim that this has been a great success. I would have expected a lot more. So we'll go and get married in Italy.com, which has been completely transparent here, guys. Looks like there's actually no keywords anywhere. Really? No keywords on Ahrefs. Get married. Oh, it's .co. <sighs> Idiot. Okay, so there are some keywords, right? So we've got eight keywords here on um, Ahrefs. Not a great success, guys. I'm not happy with how this went. I would have expected this to do a lot better. We do have 184 index pages, though. So, I mean, we can expect this to kind of float around, but I'm not really expecting much from this. I, I'm not going to be making websites statically anymore, just so everyone knows. That's the main conclusion from this video. So let's go on to the next one. So here's the big one that people probably remember the meaning of baby names. This has 93,000 pages on it. And if I actually go on pages, there's only one indexed page, okay? So this is actually kind of hilarious. Oh, sorry, there's 293 indexed pages. So I was on the wrong one. Anyway, there's 45,000 non-indexed pages and only 300-ish indexed pages. This is another failure, guys. You can see Google hates this website. This is probably never gonna rank on Google, let's be honest. Um, the, 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 all of this here, this is just people going from my video, searching for this website, finding that it's completely failed, and then writing a mean comment on YouTube, so.
uh, what is it? Let's do site the meaning of baby names.com. You can see this is pretty much, we can call this a fail. So just while we're here, let's just check one of the other ones that I made uh, live actually on a video. So what is the meaning? What is what does my baby name mean.com? What does my baby name mean.com? Okay, so again, only one index page on Google. This was not the best niche by me. It hasn't really worked. I don't think Google appreciates having 93,000 pages spat uh, statically onto, um, onto its system. So to be honest with you, I'm gonna say this right now, statically generating pages like this with massive amounts of content is not the way to go at all. So let's have a look at another few examples. I made a couple of websites very, very recently uh, using Julian's method just to see what happened, uh, which they are basically one page websites. You can see here the roascalculator.com, just a one page website uh, that's a tool to work out your ROAS, your return on ad spend. Again, we've got pretty much nothing here. Um, this has not been a success either. And then we'll do the best ROI calculators.com. This looks like it might have a bit more hope in it, but yeah, it'll be very, very interesting to see if any of these actually rank. This is a live experiment that I'm doing in front of people. I'm being brutally honest with people and I'm trying to show people what's good and what's bad. Now let's talk about the only statically generated website that I actually have hope for, uh, which is mydogbreedhelper.com. So, <laughs> People don't even know about this website, which is why Cormac is laughing. Uh, he obviously didn't know that I made this website. This website has 4,500 pages on it. It's a comparison website for dog breeds. These are all the dog breeds that we have. These are the comparison pages. These are like uh, sizes of dogs. So we have toy dogs, small dogs, large dogs, giant dogs. And then we have temperament. So friendly dogs, protective dogs, high energy dogs, blah, blah, blah. If I actually just go on, I, I, I do want to show this website off just because I love this website. Let's just click on American Bulldog. Look how cool this is, guys. Look how freaking cool this is. So all of this content is AI generated, chat GPT. Um, it's a really, th this is the one that I have the most hope for, guys, because there aren't too many pages. It has this really cool little, yeah, it has this really cool little graph, but also it has some very good information on it. And this is all real information taken from a CSV. So I took a CSV, I took chat, uh, the response from GPT-40 Mini, and I created these pages. Now, this is the one that I have the most hope for in terms of statically generated websites. You can see, slowly but surely, we are getting indexed. In terms of statically generating website, oh, 105, hell yeah, dude, nice. This is the one, guys. This one is actually working, okay? And you can see the difference. You can really see the difference between this website here with 4,500 pages, good information, you know, a nice little graph, etc., cetera, um, compared to something like, uh, what is, what is it? What does my baby mean? What does my baby name mean.com, which is just not a very good website, doesn't have a lot of information. You know, th this is nothing special to be honest with you. So I will, if people want, and I probably will anyway, I'll make a video on how I made uh, this website here. This is the one that I've got the most hope for. Um, we'll leave the prompt for this in the description of this video so you can check, this out, check it out if you want. But it looks like Google does like this website as well. I'm not surprised by that, to be honest with you. And we'll just see how it's do. Wow, nice. 15 keywords on in the US as well. And look at that. Klee Kai personality, 1.5 thousand searches a month, 33 position. This could bring really good traffic to, yeah, I'm excited. Final website to look at, guys, is one that I released last night. And I did talk about this in yesterday's video, although I don't exactly know when each video is coming out, so forgive me if it wasn't yesterday. Findabusinessuk.com. Oh, sorry, find a business in, oh no, it's literally findabusinessuk.com. That's crazy that domain was available. No one has ever used this domain either, so it's what did you pay for that? 20 bucks. What? Yeah, it's crazy, right? So this was released less than eight hours ago, okay? Uh, no, nine hours ago, let's say. Probably about three o'clock this morning, uh, this website was released. So let's just do a site, uh, findabusinessuk.com. You can see we already have over 300 index pages on Google. So this is very similar to findatradespersonisland.com. I wanted to repeat the process, 
However, this time it has, I don't even know what number to say. It either has 170 million pages or it has 17 billion pages or somewhere around that. I don't actually know. Between one of those two ridiculous numbers, I, it has a minimum, let's just say 10 million pages, okay? Just to be conservative. It has a minimum of 10 million pages. The reason for that is if I just go on here, you can see business category, there are 4,200 of these and there are however many counties and then there are 43,000 in total towns in the UK. So if you just do the maths there, we have 4,000 Google uh, My Business categories, and we have 43,000 towns in the UK. I think at a minimum, it has 172 million pages, but don't quote me on that because I'm not 100% sure how all of this works. I'm kind of just you know, working this out for myself as well. If you're curious how I made this uh, website using cursor, I didn't even use Bolt, then watch the video that we'll leave, you know, at the end of this video. Um, but yeah, that's gonna be it for this one, guys. I just really, really wanted to talk about how things are progressing, what's working, what's not working. It seems like, I mean, it's not a surprise to me that I, now that I think about it, but complete trash statically generated websites don't rank on Google. I mean, that's been true for, feckin' years now. Websites that give some value, um, like My Dog Breed Helper, I mean, this is valuable. You can see that this is valuable. It gives you all of the information about that dog breed in a very concise, very easy way, okay? So it's helpful content. So statically generated websites that offer something a little bit extra with you know a graph, some really good information, some accurate information about their temperament, characteristics, ideal owner, history, health considerations, training, grooming needs, common questions, all of that good stuff, okay? These seem to rank on Google, but the ones that, from my experience so far, seem to rank the best on Google are things like findabusinessuk.com and um, also findatradespersonisland.com. So to already have five keywords on Google already when it was literally released less than nine hours ago, sorry, on Ahrefs, that's crazy to me, guys. I, I've only ever seen that once before, and that was with findatradespersonisland.com. So we'll keep you updated, guys. We'll keep you in the loop. I'll let you know what happens with these projects. I'm expecting Find a Business UK to be one of the biggest websites that I've ever worked on. Hopefully, I'm talking millions of impressions, hopefully, 10,000, 30,000, 50,000 clicks a month. We'll then monetize it with ads and we'll also call some of these businesses. Let's say you're a beautician and you're on this list here. We could ring Beauty Essence and we can be like, you know, give us 50 quid a month and we'll put you here uh, as like an ad. Uh, it's also a backlink, you know, blah, 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 blah. So yeah, anyway, thanks for watching guys. If you're watching all the way to the end, you're an absolute legend as usual. And I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out. Stop using Bolt, watch this video instead. Let's build something with Cursor.